You know, Sky 5 captured a bird's eye view of the extensive damage all throughout Humphreys County. Tonight, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon shows us what people in Waverly face in the days ahead. Before the sun set on another day of recovery efforts, we got an aerial view from Sky 5 of some of the spots hit the hardest. Right now, I, I close my eyes and I can't get over the devastation. The damage stretches for miles. Homes forced off foundations, power lines knocked down, and debris fills the roads. But as people in Waverly try to assess what's left behind, officials say the outpouring of support has been incredible. Our people need help. We're going to be overwhelmed for the next probably 30 days at least overwhelmed. Search and rescue teams scoured the area again for missing people in hopes of reuniting them with loved ones. They've been a little slower going because we're dealing now with debris that we have to move. An 8 p.m. curfew will remain in effect for the coming days in Waverly and law enforcement officers from across the area will help enforce it. Folks, their houses are vulnerable right now and their property is vulnerable and we're going to do our best to make sure nobody misses them. While the recovery will take time, people across Humphreys County remain hopeful. We're going to hear stories and see things that sometimes I wish I could forget. But to hear the good things, and we try to concentrate on those good things. And with the help of city and county leaders and volunteers, everyone hopes better days will be ahead. Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.